We live in a world where the agriculture we practiced for 10,000 years has suddenly become unconventional. How did it happen? To explain that, we need to tell the story of nitrogen. When you grow something like a tomato, it pulls nutrients out of the soil. Of these, potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus are the most important. For plants to absorb nitrogen, farmers always added composts like crop waste and animal manure to their soil. This increased soil fertility and resulted in a better harvest. But these farmers weren't nearly as efficient as Fritz Haber. In the early 1900s, his Haber process resulted in the production of ammonium nitrate, a chemical that fixes nitrogen in the soil. Its primary ingredient, natural gas. Ammonium nitrate dramatically improved crop yields. And as people learned in World War I, it also made very effective weapons. When the war ended, chemical companies making ammonium nitrate turned their attention back to agriculture and changed the way people farmed. Farmers who once were guided by the lunar calendar, who carried their knowledge from one season and one generation to the next, now received instructions printed on the side of a fertilizer bag. Today, half the world's food production, what we eat, depends on a fertilizer whose main ingredient is natural gas. These chemical fertilizers and herbicides are the foundation of conventional agriculture. But they pollute our soils, drinking water, waterways, and oceans. That's a bummer. Yeah, it sure is. Many farmers disagree with these principles. They feel a strong kinship with nature. They're responsible stewards of our air, our water, our soils, and our animals, which makes them unconventional. They're farmers who believe in biodiversity instead of monoculture. Farmers who build soil fertility without chemicals. Farmers who go beyond organic. Farmers who work with nature, not against it. What an Austrian philosopher named Rudolf Steiner foresaw back in the 1920s. He introduced biodynamics, a collection of farming practices that integrate plants and animals to ensure soil health and biodiversity. Unconventional farmers, they save our soils and help protect our drinking water, waterways, and oceans. Find out if your farmer is unconventional. To learn more about biodynamics, permaculture, soil fertility, biodiversity, and other unconventional farming principles, visit lexiconofsustainability.com. And remember, your words can change the world.